her name. It wasn't a big deal at first, you know. It was just another story online, one you'd read in the comments of a YouTube video designed to scaring you into posting it on eight other videos. You know the kind, where you die a horrible death or your crush will reject you if you don't spread the word. I didn't think anything of it at the time, but now it's the only thing I can think about. The comment started by saying that she hasn't left the post alone in days and by reading this she'll come for you. I don't even remember the exact wording because it was late and I was tired and I'd seen a hundred other comments like it before. I forgot all about it until she started coming after me. It started with little things, a flash in the corner of my vision, a strange shadow on the hallway floor, till it got worse. I started to hear whispering when I was alone in the house, jiggling the sound of footsteps and I know that she was teasing me, sort of like how a cat will clamp its paw over a mouse's tail and bat at it before it kills it. Mirrors were the worst. She liked to stand just out of frame when I was brushing my hair, so when I shifted my head to get the other side, she'd be there, standing next to the bookshelf with her long tangled hair matted with blood falling down her shoulders, and that grin. Oh God, that grin. Her teeth were always bloody. I was never sure if it was her blood or... Uh, I don't even know. Every night it seemed to get worse. I would see her on my way to class in the rearview mirror of my car, dragging her talon-like fingernails across her own rotting flesh as I stared in abject terror. For a while, I put it off to sleep deprivation. Finals, you know? And then she came to me. It was late, so late it was technically early. I couldn't sleep because all I could hear was her jiggling. I covered my face with the pillow and shut my eyes tight. And I felt something cold on my hand. I was paralyzed with fear. It was sharp. It was cold and it was moving down my arm towards my elbow. Come out to play, she said in that lilting, upsetting voice I'd heard one too many times before. I screamed and sat up, but she was gone. For the moment, my biggest mistake was when I talked to her. I just stepped out of the shower and she was right there when I opened the curtains. I shrieked and stumbled back and she leaned down to me. Why? I asked. Why are you doing this? She told me why. It was because I knew something about her. The altercation ended with a serious head injury that landed me in the hospital. That's where I am now. I can't take this anymore. I'm just one person. It's too much. I know what I have to do. I think I always knew. God, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Her name is Nora. She should be there 